That's the second group of deer that's passed through that little section of woods or whatever this is, not really woods. But uh, this morning when I first got up, there was a deer or two passing through that same little area. So I'm glad I waited around for that. That was pretty special. This is very pretty. Uh, open meadow with trees and ferns. Hey, good morning. It's day 130. I had a nice leisurely morning hanging around the campsite. It was just so like perfectly beautiful. I had a family of deer walk through twice or two families of deer perhaps. Um, the air was cool, almost chilly at, at dawn or at first, first waking. Um, with after last night's rain. It rained from about midnight probably to, I don't know, for an hour or two. I slept through most of it, but I did notice it was raining at midnight-ish. And um, a little bit of thunder. It wasn't too stormy, but pretty heavy. And I uh, spent a lot of time um, working on videos and stuff this morning and enjoying the, uh, the campsite. It was very crowded, not crowded like close in, but there were a lot of campers. But it was such a wide open space that they're very spread out and everybody kind of had their own little clearing for their own group. Another, another map with north effectively down, which is a map of where we've been. Oh, I see. It's a map for people going southbound, so you're walking in the direction that the map is going. Gotcha. But still. Apparently there's a, uh, a side trail coming up that goes down to a uh, camp center of some kind that has food and lodging and um, swimming and all that. And I think I'm going to pop down there. I've had a weird day. I feel like I've been hiking what to me feels like all day and I've only covered like I'm still under six miles. And then, you know, that's three hours. And so if you add in a break, it, it, it all tracks. But 
it feels like the day is moving really slow or the, the hour hand is moving fast and my feet are moving slow or something. It's just, so that, you know, I'm back to where I was a few days ago where, I guess that was last weekend at this point, Friday, Saturday, where a, a six mile day just feels like all I'm up to and um, I'm not feeling it, that sort of feeling. Um, I don't know if it's a function of being out here all by myself or my levels are off or something. It just feels weird. I just feel like, you know, the 16 mile day shouldn't be that major. And here I am with like 10 miles yet to go and just 10 miles feels so daunting. And it's after two o'clock in the afternoon already so 10 miles would still put me at seven and that's if i just keep right on walking uh with no more breaks so i don't really know what is up i also feel like if i detour over to this mohican center which is run by the appalachian mountain club then i'll not get very much further than that today but kind of had this desire to uh bump into some other hikers perhaps so I'm at the road crossing where the there's the ads for the food and all that so I'm gonna head down that way for a little bit and see what see what I run into Does this count as the vortex? This is my third or fourth time in a week and a half where I've barely eked out a six mile day. And um, I basically got into the uh, Mohican Center at three and now it's like 4.30 and I decided to stay. Um, finding my way back to the walk-in tent sites from this little uh, mimeographed map here. Let's see, it's first left, second left. All right, at least I've got some wooded privacy here and back up at the lodge, some Wi-Fi. Um, but I'm gonna spend a couple hours doing um, videos and what have you. Oh, good, they have bear boxes too. And then, um, maybe some time editing on or uploading on their Wi-Fi but uh, I just cannot get my ass in gear these days oh here we go campsites galore all right I'm at my spot um, actually they gave me the spot next door but the way the trees line up with the undergrowth it makes it very difficult to hang a hammock so um, I am on site W6 or W4? W4 and I have front row seat to the privy right there <laughs> and um, all of these sites almost had their for all intents and purposes each have their private bear box or at least you share with one other uh, campsite so you can see it right right there in the background, but um, I've got a fire pit. Not all of them have that, but uh, I'm gonna set up, not across the fire pit, but uh, <laughs> alongside it um, with the hammock. Gosh, it's a little, little bit before eight on the end of the day. So I don't know what's going on with me, but I just am not feeling motivated to do the miles I need to be doing. I hope it's not something physical, 
because then, you know, I don't know. I have no reason to think that I got Lyme disease or something like that. I don't really feel fatigued as such. I feel just unmotivated. So, you know, I did a 12-mile day yesterday. I did a 17-mile day before my uh, Strasbourg Zero. So, all, and all that felt good and normal. Um, but, you know, here I am taking another six-mile day. I don't feel like, like I want to quit or anything like that. Um, I just would like to have more emotional energy to keep hiking on a day where I feel blah. And today was another day I feel blah, one of several that I've felt for the last week and a half. Right. Mm -hmm.